OK, so ladies and gentlemen, um, for this one, they're asking us to reflect over the x-axis, correct? Right? They're asking us to reflect over the x-axis. Now, when we're reflecting over the x-axis, um, Daryl, as you're writing this one down, the main important thing you guys are going to understand is what happens to my coordinates as I reflect over the y-axis. And the only thing that happens to the coordinates as you reflect over the y-axis is your y-coordinates change, change their value. So it turns into x, comma, negative y. So now let's go and find out those transformations because it's really simple, Daryl. All I got to now do is say k prime is equal to negative 1, 0. Well, why did 0 not change? Because 0 does not have a um, positive or a negative value. All right? L is now, L prime is now negative 2, negative 3. M prime is 1, comma, negative 4. And N prime is now 2, comma, negative 1. Do you guys see that? So you guys got to know what, how, what is the different transformations for reflecting over the x, reflecting over the y, reflecting over the y equals x, and reflecting over the origin. So now, to show this, we're going to graph our original image and our transformed image. So our original image had negative 1, 0. We label that. Since we plot the point, we're going to label that k. Okay? I don't know. It's my Buddha. Over here, I have negative 2 up 3. 1, 2, 3. That is my L. Here I have 1, comma, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's M. And here I have 2, 1. That's N. OK? So now, if I'm going to reflect this over the x-axis, you can see, Guillermo, this graph is now just going to be reflected over this x-axis. Because remember, this is the x-axis. I can also just plot these coordinates. So now it's still at negative 1, 0 is k prime. Negative 2, negative 3, 1, 2, 3. That's now L prime. M prime is 1, negative 4. And N prime is positive 2, negative 1. And therefore, you guys can see your transformed figure. Okay? Keith, is there a problem no, with Bianca? No